the name I of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. I've been asked to say a few words about orthodoxy as related to the modern and temporary young people, the so-called the me generation, people who live for themselves, their consumer mentality in the youth. Unfortunately, I am in no position to speak because I am an old man and ready to die and so my, my thing is finished. However, as a voice from the grave, I could sort of make a survey. And I mentioned, I'd like to mention that fact that the biggest problem of today's society is that we are shaped by contemporary understanding of reality without the background of traditional Byzantine Orthodox worldview. And this particular, it's a real problem because uh, what we pick from the television and the radio is actually a perverted picture of wrong, wrong aspect of hierarchy of Orthodox values. This hierarchy has God on top, it's like a pyramid. God, his followers, the kings and noblemen, and so on, and finally the people on the bottom. And when the French Revolution came, they turned upside down and had the God at the bottom. And top is the so-called democracy, actually people who have no particular one ideal to live by, just mob. And this is what is shaping our society today. The young generation is exposed to all kinds of isms, all kinds of ideas, and they can't make uh, make sense out of them. Where God is, especially when they start interested in orthodoxy, they sort of encounter orthodoxy. And they begin to wonder, what, what, what is it? How do you handle it? How do you accept it? And the answer is turning to the back historically. I would suggest 19th century, especially around the traditional 19th century Russia, Mount Athos and so on. This is very interesting to see how in Russia the modern ideas were forced upon society that was orthodox to the core. And they tried to put the, the revolutionary ideas, where the result was the chaos in the, the in the uh, Russian revolution and the whole 20th century total disaster, which actually, according to some prophets, is coming here to America, because so far America was based on Christian principles. But with each year, it's coming less and less. It's becoming a society that is losing essence. Somebody mentioned that let's talk about orthodoxy from the heart rather than from external. Excellent. That means we have to focus on the apostles, the Holy Fathers, the Apostolic Fathers and Fathers. Those are authorities are very important. Once we saturate our soul with these images that these Holy Fathers of old have given to us, then we have a very wide picture of holiness brought upon earth. That is, people living in the society, sort of like a worldly society, and nevertheless, one foot in heaven, they are aware of the other world. That's why the Holy Fathers, they say, Anthony the Great, Pachomi the Great, and Athanasius the Great, all these Holy Fathers, they open up mystic ways of seeing daily life. I don't know, maybe I'm speaking too much. Maybe it's not particularly relevant. But I'm convinced that, judging from my experience with Father Sermon, is that the young generation wants to you give them a little bit of orthodoxy. They get inspired and they multiply. They just start, their brain begins to work and finally they become, the, they just shoot out roots and they become themselves particular, pastoral, or you could say, pastors themselves and orthodox teachers. And nowadays we have a whole new generation coming, young, young, young people who are actually already teachers of orthodoxy. 
Glory to God.